Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to basically um, work on Techni. I'm going to explain how to set it up so your models will be able to be exported to mCreator. But first, we're going to have to, um, well we don't theoretically have to, but it's easier just to run it through the program. So first we need to locate our actual Techni uh, folder. So um, now it should be in your C drive, users, and then your profile, whatever profile your name is for your, um, where you downloaded Techni to, and then it should be dot, um, Gradle, or whatever it is. So, I'm going to type that in, well, not exactly, but I'm going to go there. And it should be right there. Now what you want to do is you want to copy it. You want to go to your mCreator folder. I have a shortcut. You want to go to this folder right here, extensions, or external. I think that's a yeah, that's external. Okay. And then you want to paste it. Alright, so after it's pasted, what you want to do is rename it Techni with a capital D, capital T. And now it should work with uh, Emicrator. As simple as that. So I no longer need that. Now we're going to start covering, um, we're going to open up Emicrator. Now that we're in mCreator, we can go to Extensions and click on Techni, and it will start Techni up. Techni logo will come up, and then Techni will come up after it. Now we're faced with a window. This is very important. Your model name is going to be the same name as um, what it's going to ask you in um, mCreator. It's going to go. It's going to have to be the same as um, Techni's model name. Now this is where you have to remember the model name or it will um, give you a bunch of errors. The um, next thing if you're doing just a basic block then you want a model base but if you're doing it based on a um, mob such as a creeper, pig, um, blimped is basically a player model, um, spider wolf, enderman's a little bit buggy but um, I personally wouldn't use it, but you can. You might get errors. But we're just going to do a basic model block, so or model base. I'm going to call it um, maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Um, Alright, so I figured out what we're going to um, end up doing. We're going to make a small light. Now, for our tutorial after this, I'll explain, get a little bit into detail of how to use events. But um, we're going to make two models today. We're going to make one on and one off. Um, it's going to be kind of a light that would be, say, for outdoor. Um, you'd probably use it for, uh, or no, you know what? We could use a ceiling light. A ceiling light that would be cool. So let's um, just call it uh, light on. Actually, we'll do off first, and. I usually like setting it to 64. Now this can't be changed after. It will not work. It will give you errors and stuff if you change it after. So, um, just always make a bigger size than you need. Alright, so since we're just working with a single block and it's not going to be too big, I'm just going to go create. And the first thing that we need to do is click on this folder icon right down here. And we need to call it something. I usually like to call it what my model is. So light off. And now you click the cube. So an, just a thing, if it's on the outside like this, uh, not aligned inside your folder like it should be like like so um, that will give you errors as well so make sure you put it inside your folder and um, I like just to name it shape first so I'll get a bunch of shapes and keep well I'll, get, I'll cover that in a second now I'm going to basically explain how all this works on this side in just a second. But first I want to point out something. Um, F is for front, R is for right, B is for back, L is for left, and then you have your U and D. So U is up and D is down. Um, now when it gives you the shape it's actually going to be below the surface so what you want to do is put the position at negative one and um, that will put it right on the block above the surface that you're placing it on um, next what you want to do is open up the calculator. All right, so we have our calculator up, and um, so we want to actually, it's pretty simple. We're negative one, so all we need to do is go to negative 16 and if I'm correct about 4 over nope never mind positive 4 I don't think that's it either positive 1 maybe negative 1 negative 1 and All right, so we have our sort of to be lamp type thing. Um, now I'm going to lower this just a bit, maybe about to there. And I'm also going to bring it down a bit. So it's about there. Now I'm going to hit control C 
while select the model is selected and I'm going to go in here and paste in coordinates now we're going to have another box and I'm going to make this one one by one and we're sitting at 12 so probably move that up a little All right, and now I'm going to put this off 0.5 on both chords. And now it's going to be center. And I'm going to raise that one and do the same to that. All right, so now we have kind of like a little lamp type thing that would go on the surface above. Um, so now I'm going to move this over and I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm selecting. Now this is the texture map so what I'm going to do is move the top piece down a bit since it's smaller now the texture offset will allow me to do that so um, just right there that's all we need it and now that we have our model and our texture it, layout is where we want it to be we're going to save our model because if we don't save it um, we won't be able to edit it if there's any errors so I'm going to call it light off and save it to my desktop and now I'm going to export Java and I wouldn't change the name if I were you because it's just an easier way to know what your model name is so it's already choosing your model name by default the exact way it's spelled so when you're importing the um, um the java file it will you can just copy the name and then use it for the the um the name that it says oh it has to be the same as your uh, model and techni so that's what i usually do if you want to name it something completely different it's yours but you have to remember that it has to be the same name as your techni model when you're importing it so um well not the java file but when it won't when m creator asks for it um okay so save and next thing we need is the texture map so file export texture map and we're just going to keep it that as well now i'm thinking maybe the light will actually get a little bigger so thinking maybe maybe like that that means we're gonna have to turn that back to zero and that back to zero and put it at negative two and negative two all right, so now we have a slightly bigger lamp, and that means we're going to have to move this texture down a little because it's overlapping. You can see that. And ooh, 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 ooh. we're going to have to open up the other model. See, this is why you save because not only does the it need to be in a folder, but it needs to have a separate name for each shape. So I usually just put a number after the shape. Alright, so we're going to save this one as after we rename everything. Edit, edit, 
project on file exp no file save light on file export java light on file export texture map light on now we're going to have to delete our light off java because it's um we didn't name the shapes different and we're going to have to open this our model now the texture map will be fine but the um we need to edit the shape names in here because we didn't do that so zero and shape one now numbers can't go before it but uh, numbers can go after and it has to be um, I think English I'm not entirely sure on that but um, as long as there's letters before the number um, it will not give you any errors so now we're gonna save and select our techni light off yes and we're gonna export Java and that's all we need to do um, now that that's done we can close out of here because that's all I'm gonna I'm just covering techni today and we're going to open both of our um, texture maps and this one the larger one right here is our light on and this one's our light off so what I'm going to do is just basically f edit this um, edit the texture mac for both of them and then I'll show it to you and then I'll um, basically end the tutorial so I'll be right back alright so I'm back and um, so our texture for our light off is white and it has the part that hangs on the ceiling right here now that is going to be the same as this right here because that's the part that hangs on the ceiling as well now the only part that's going to be changing is this yellow part right here and that's when it's on so when it's off it's going to be white and a little bit smaller and when it's on it's going to be yellow and a little bit bigger one pixel bigger to be exact so that's all it is and I'll get into how we can actually make this um, um, ceiling light work now but but for now, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.